So today I, want to, I would like to talk about the biotexture modeling. Until 2004, I was a surgeon in Tokyo, the big university, and every day I do surgery and the outpatient and basic research until midnight. In 2004, I moved to a local hospital. It didn't have high-tech infrastructure, but I was more busy enough to change my mind. Medical informatics, including medical images, we must lead are increasing day by day. Improvement of business efficiency was needed. Now, medical images can be reconstructed to 3D virtual reality, but medical computing software and the hardware are required extra cost and knowledge. It will be hard to do by the physicians, right? So I found an open source Daikon viewer, Ozyrix, developed by the physicians at Geneva University. And I get surprised. And I want to join their development team. So I moved to Geneva University. Ozyrix is easy to operate for 3D reconstruction like this, even by the physicians, even for the sterile 3D. This is like a 3D images, but it's not 3D. So please put your glasses on. So I turn this image into real 3D, like this. Can you see this? <laughs> this image is our computer graphics. It's by the CAT scan images from the real patient. And this is the abdominal organs. You can see the pancreas here, and the arteries, vessels, kidney, and spleen. And also you can see the ribs and bones. From the surgeon's viewpoint, it was very useful to be able to find the hidden cancers by making organs transparent and rotating them in 3D. So I put these images into the operative room. So young surgeon can watch these images during the real surgery. The beginners of the surgeon can do the correct procedure. And this is good for the education. And I use it more friendly. The wireless remote can be adapted into this Ozyrex system. So we can do the 3D reconstructing, 3D reconstruction during surgery. I use this during real surgery. So surgeon doesn't need to push the bottom, only move, right? I could find the Japanese wireless motion sensing technology. <laughs> I took it for wireless fracturation adjusting accelerometer for laparoscopic surgery. And we have, we have, we have also developed the functions that use image guided navigation to guide a laparoscopic movement when inserted into an abdomen by using accelerometer. Here you can see, just like a car navigation, right? When I move the laparoscope, the other navigation will go on at the same direction, like a synchronization. Using this method, surgeon can execute an, an entire surgical operation through an endoscope in conjunction with ultrasonic technology. This minimally invasive surgery is safer certain and easy, easier on the patient body. For more intuitive, we needed to overcome the gaps between the virtual reality and the actual images. 
here the gap between the real image and the actual image, right? And the virtual reality. The answer is the very simple. I put these images onto the patient body surface by using the projection mapping. I named this image overlay. This image was accepted from the real patient of him. So you can see through the abdominal organs on the patient body surface before cutting the abdominal wall. So we can reduce the length of the incision line. It is so-called minimum invasive surgery. In an augmented reality field within a real-time environment, we developed a method that enables images from the endoscope to follow the camera movement on the CT scanned 3D images. It could be seen even onto the patient's body surface by projection mapping. This patient had, the, you know, appendicitis, the inflammation in the cecum and the appendix. This patient is the young female. We need to reduce the length of the incision because of the beauty, right? So we did this surgery within half inch. So, however, this time we can touch the images, but we cannot grasp the image. I think these technologies should be used for everyone. In 2006 to 2007, we put these images into the, you know, iPod, not iPad. So it's good for the student education because they have fun. In the outpatient, it's easy to remove and uh, rotate these 3D images. Because of the size of the device is very small, we can put this device into the ambulance car and helicopter. And I put these functions into the helicopter. There are the apps for that. You can see the iPad helicopter. You can see the 3D images in the air. And it is good for the education for the nurses in the hospital. And good for the informed consent to the patient and the patient families even into the operating room. Today, this technology can be adapted and fully utilized in medical activities such as safe and precise surgery. And more, I developed the sterile bag. This is the waterproof bag for the iPad. We can put the iPad into the OR with the sterile plastic gloves. And it is available for the kitchen and the beach and the bath. <laughs> Not the bathroom, Japanese bath, right? In our Kobe University, every student can own his own iPad during the medical, uh, medical round. It is good for the fun of learning, right? We can offer the student fun. We could have touching experience into the body. And I also developed this white coat with iPad. <laughs> and scrub. <laughs> this is the world first for the iPad. For sharing this idea, we have been delivering this free open source application to worldwide from 2003 and teaching it all over the world. And I made many manuals of this uh, application and I made a DVD 
for sharing this idea all over the world. And I translated into Japanese. And this is another question. Medical doctors must secure not only the patient's healthy body, but also their soul. Recently, we can visualize the human body using virtual reality, but in visualize the soul, we need to plus alpha, right? From this perspective, this plus alpha can vary in my development activities. In the field of medicine, we need to translate the findings in basic research more quickly and efficiently into medical practice. Thus, meaningful health outcomes, whether those are physical, mental, and social outcomes. There is a question. These technologies of virtual five sense can really help the patient enough? I think that's just a virtual reality, not real. Then I thought I wanted to handle the inner nature of things intuitively, like a sixth sense. And then we developed the advanced technology using 3D printer. CD and MRI images can be manufactured. The actual size of the 3D organ modeling. The specificity designed gel-like support material enabled each composite material to provide specific values of biotexture like that. It showed the human actuality, actuality beyond virtual reality. Using multi-material 3D printing system, our biotexture modeling technology enabled any combined combination with transparent or rigid and flexible materials to form 3D organ structures and textures. This yellow material is biocompatible and can sterilize. I thought this could offer the better surgical guidance Immediately, I use this advantage for the real patient. So I selected the first victim. It's me. <laughs> I'm the first patient. I made the first evidence of the usefulness by myself. <laughs> by using the transparent material, it is possible to form models that are unable to see bones and vessels from the outside. It is very persuasive material for understanding the individual body without difficult me medical terminology, even for the young generation. The use of such bio biological models improves the accuracy of the operation. We can discuss with the staffs to decide the optimal procedure by comparing the bio, biological model and organ drawing operations. For example, it becomes possible to simulate a procedure before actual treat, treating an organ. We can cut it and repeat surgical procedures before the actual operation. This modeling software can be designed the, uh, the organ model with tactile feedback intuitively. Furthermore, we expected, expected that biological models formed by the printer will help educate young doctors and nurses. It can provide living, meaningful education. So it can solve the recent social problem in medicine. Now the number of surgeons is decreasing year by year, you know? According to the surgical, uh, survival curve of the surgeon, the surgeon cannot survive more. So for this issue, we developed this robotic system. 
When you then need for robotic surgical simulation and training, surgeons will be able to offer the most advanced surgical technology to their patient. By monitoring the movement of the robotic surgery and the model's deformity, it may improve their experience of on-the-job training, even in the regional medicine and also the most remote locations in space. At pregnancy, visualizing the unborn child can decrease the mother's anxiety. Like this. The parent must feel the symphony of life. This is a meaningful gift. And I want to show you something. Here. This is a mother's body, pregnant woman, and here sleeping child here. And you can handle the baby before the birth. Good gift. <laughs> Good for all families and yourself. <laughs> you can make it. By biotexture modeling is the way to improve the world human life by improving quality and efficiency and preventing diseases through better understanding of life and life-supporting activities. Our combined technology of analog and digital also replaces private prejudice and discrimination. Finally, I would like to provide the medical ground design using biotexture modeling. It will put the human race forward and advanced future innovations in medicine and healthcare. Thank you very much.